In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use VLOOKUP formula with name ranges. Let's look at how we can use VLOOKUP in the name ranges. First, let's better understand what name range is. Let's start with the range itself. In Excel, you can reference specific cell. For example, this is the cell B7. You can also reference a group of cells. For example, when you select values B7, through B8, that would be a range. Also, B7 through C8 would be a range. And also, B7 through C11 will be a range. Now, let's take it one step further. We can not just create the range, but we can also give this range a specific name. How do we do it? Multiple ways in Excel. So, let's say that this is the range we're looking for to create. We select the range itself, and then we click Define Name, and then we can type the name here. So this would represent, for example, our wardrobe, and then we click OK. So that's the reference that I just created. And I can reference now this name in my formula calculations. Another way to do it, if you go to Formulas tab and click Define Name, and it will take me to the same exact screen. You can use created name range right in VLOOKUP formula, and this is how you do it. For example, our business problem is that we need to find matching pants based on the provided color using the named range in Excel. The named range we created is called wardrobe. To find out what the range is, you can click Find, Select, Go To, and it shows all the named ranges that we have. So wardrobe would be, if we select it, other values B7, through D11. Now we have the color that we're looking for, which is green, located in the cell F6. And the VLOOKUP formula is, lo is located in the cell B14. And this is how it looks. We are looking for the value from the cell F6, which is color green. We're looking inside the named range called wardrobe. We're looking for index column number three. Color is one, shirt number is two, pants is three. So that's the value that will be returned. And we're looking for exact match, which is represented by the value number false. And the value returned is 33. As always, if you'd like to download the file and play with the values yourself, for example, this is what you can do. You can put the color red here and see how it changes the values. To better understand, it always helps to do hands-on exercises. If you like the content, please make sure to click the like button and share with your friends. Also, there's tons of information in the description of this video. Make sure to check it out. Make sure to check out my other relevant videos and subscribe to my YouTube channel. We have a lot of great stuff planned in the pipeline and I don't want you to miss any of it. And if you'd like to get notified about all the new stuff that are coming out, make sure to subscribe to my email list as well. All links are here on the screen. Make sure to click to stay in touch. Thanks again for watching.